Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of My Week on Film. In this series, I documented my week through a few film photos each day. So I pretty much brought my film camera with me on everyday trips, just random errands, and I even shot a few photos at home. And the goal of this series is just to document my everyday life. As I've been getting more and more into film photography, I've realized that some of my favorite photos are just these everyday candid moments. So, so this just felt like it'd be a lot of fun to do, and it really was. And I'm really happy with the photos that I was able to get. For anyone interested, I shot these photos on my Bronica ETR I along with a roll of Portrait 800. So let's get into it. All right, so this first film photo was actually just shot here at my desk. I spend so much time here editing and a lot of times I'll pretty much just be here throughout the whole day working on a video or a few videos. And my favorite time of day specifically is the evening, right when the sun starts going down. I get to see the beautiful skyline. So I wanted to get my first photo here. And as you can see, I was just able to capture that beautiful skyline and also you see my workflow. The video I was specifically editing that day was why I love film photography. So everything just feels fitting in this scene. I like that I have the little candle in the background. This is pretty much an accurate representation of my everyday evening. So I really love this photo. I also took an alternate version with the sky in focus and my computer screen blurred out in the foreground. And I didn't quite like that one, but the other one just felt absolutely perfect. All right, and the next day I actually had some client work to edit. And while I do edit them sometimes at this desk, a lot of times I'll have to force myself and go to a coffee shop just because it forces me to work faster. So on the way to one of my favorite coffee shops, I drove through Ritchie Canyon. And on my first time shooting film, I actually shot a whole roll through there, but I didn't really feel like I was able to get a picture that really captured what I see when driving through Ritchie Canyon. So I decided to take another shot at it. And I absolutely love it. I love that you can see all the mountains and the clouds. And I feel like this photo just really got the beauty and the scenes of Ritchie Canyon. And another cool thing about that photo is that I didn't have my prism finder on my camera at the time. All I had was my waist level finder. So I couldn't actually look at the shot I was taking. So as I was driving, I pretty much put the camera at eye level and snapped the photo. And with that being said, I'm really happy with the results. And I didn't take any photos inside the actual coffee shop itself, just because this camera is not conspicuous. The shutter sound is quite loud. I have to light meter everything. And I didn't want to really risk getting kicked out. So I kind of wanted to be a bit more low key. That brings up one thing about the camera choice for this series, I think as I continue this series, I may pick up a point and shoot just because I think it'd be a little bit easier and I'd be able to take it more places with me because this camera, it produces amazing images and I love how it feels, but sometimes it can be a bit bulky and eye catching. So I think I'm gonna be in the market for a point and shoot very soon. But that being said, the shopping center that the coffee shop is in also is across the street from my absolute favorite movie theater. So after I finished up at the coffee shop, I decided to try to grab a night photo of the theater. I wasn't super happy with it. I don't I don't think it's terrible, but I just don't think it's an interesting angle or composition, but that's okay because a couple days later, Alex and I actually went back to the same theater to go watch the new Black Panther movie. So to get another couple shots, I brought my camera with me and I do like the photos that I got. I like this first one just because I think I really like the composition a lot. I do think it'd be cool at night just to see all the lights in the Harkin sign and everything, but this is a cool daytime shot. I did get an alternate vertical version, which is cool, but I don't like how much empty space is on the bottom third of this photo. And after we bought the tickets, we had a bit of time to kill, so we we're just walking around and I was able to get this photo, which I am incredibly happy with. I absolutely love my girlfriend and I absolutely love Christmas. So this was just a perfect photo for me. And this is one I really cherish. And afterwards we did get out of the movies and I was hyper fixated on wanting to get a photo of Harkins Theaters pretty much throughout this whole roll. So I got this photo with some of the Christmas lights on the pole in the foreground. And I wish I would have had a tighter lens on just so that it could be a little bit more punched in. But let me know what you think in the comments. And a couple days later, I took Alex's parents out to lunch and I brought something up to them that I knew I wanted to capture the moment. So I did, and I'm really happy with that. So some really cool news coming up soon, just in Alex and I's personal life that I will be showing in a future video. So stay tuned. Just really cool capturing these memories. And the next day I was on my way to my car and I noticed this tree and the leaves were all red and orange, which was really cool. There weren't any trees that had that vibrant of color in the leaves. So I just decided to snap a photo. And with this photo being my last shot out of the roll, I did take my time with it and I was trying to find different angles and I finally came to one that I really liked. I've never really taken photos of plants or leaves before, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I really like the composition. I like all the branches and leaves in the foreground. This is just a really pretty photo. 
All right, everyone, so that was my week on film, and I am incredibly happy with all the images that I was able to capture. To be honest, this really just gave me more motivation to bring my camera everywhere with me, and honestly, I think what I'm learning is that there's just beauty in every moment. Documenting these moments that you might think are mundane, but I think those are the moments that are easy to take for granted. Those are some of the coolest things that I've been able to capture on film. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'm gonna try to continue shooting these My Week on Film videos every other month, but for now, I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one oh I actually like this shot a little better oh my gosh what he always does he moves literally half a foot thinks he likes this shot better